They're kind of tall. Okay. You're live. Oh, Thank you. Good morning. Oh, oh, we're a very eccentric here. I like that. <laughs> Whoa. You are on Facebook Live. Thank you, sweetie. Excellent. Thank you. You're awesome. Yeah. Do, do, do. It's time for Today in Humo with Jennifer Blackwell and Teresa Strong. You can listen to Today oh, that's in Humo cool. Wednesdays from 9 to 9. Oops. Sorry about it. It's okay. Oh, Bryce, you know that would have hurt. Name, What's that? Yeah. Feel free to I'm going to fade it out and turn it on. Okay. And now, Perfect. Today in Yuma. <laughs> Because we've got to do something special. Uh-oh, here we are. Oh, gosh, what it sounds and so familiar. What is that song? We play classic country. What? We play classic we country. Play classic Lila, so you get great. So you play my stuff or just Waylon's stuff? Uh, well, um, I have your stuff. I'll play your stuff. I have five number one songs. If you don't have my stuff, oh, my come on. <laughs> Very good. get it live. I what in the world? <laughs> Morning, everyone. Oh, it's okay. Is it one of those lights? Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? Of course. <laughs> She's gonna soak it all in. Jerry Van Circle and Nelson Ryan CTV was the same way. All right, we're ready. Here we go. Today in Yuma, I'm Jennifer Blackwell. And I'm Teresa Straub. Thank you for tuning in on Z93 and Outlaw Country, where you can hear us weekdays 9 to 10. But also, you can get the extra perk of watching us on the Sunset Health Facebook Live feed, and you want to tune in today. Today is the day you want to hang out with us on the Sunset Health Facebook Live feed. We have a full studio of some pretty awesome guys. Absolutely, <laughs> and it's one of those things, I think if we would have tried to plan it our health, ourselves ahead of time, it wouldn't have been this amazing. So no, a it huge, wouldn't have. Huge thank you to Brad Whitfield with Coke Paw Speedway. Morning, Brad. Good morning. We talked about how we witnessed you in action, and it is a sight to behold. <laughs> thank you. I you are a busy, that. busy, busy, nonstop. You don't miss a beat, but that's what it takes to make Winter Nationals happen. Absolutely. And we went out there. We had the opportunity, Teresa and I, on Wednesday to meet several of these gentlemen, but also see the city that you've create, created at Coke Paw Speedway. I, it was pitch black this morning when I came in and I came down Avenue B from County 14 and I'm like, well, it's all lit up. And they've been out there since two o'clock this morning getting the track ready. They have been, they got done just before five this morning. Uh, racetrack has been good uh, all series long. Uh, we don't expect anything less, we're pretty excited. Well, we are very excited because the action started earlier this week and will continue. Absolutely, yes, we had uh, over 200 cars in the pits on Tuesday night for our uh, opening night practice. Um, great turnout there the city was built and uh, Wednesday night showed some great racing um, last night was really good racing and uh, yeah we're just the best is yet to come well I love that it follow Coca Paw Speedway on Facebook too yes. and if you subscribe you get the notifications the pop-ups when you're live and I had several last night and I'm like, <laughs> okay I'm multitasking doing different things but watching <laughs> because there's the different mods available yes what what different categories are there so we have the IMCA Winter Nationals presented by Human Insurance is the IMCA Modifieds, IMCA Northern Sport Mods, IMCA Stock Cars, IMCA Hobby Stocks, and the IMCA Sport Mods. Well, did I say them? You said that three times fast? Yeah, it's good yeah. really fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, let us quickly introduce the gentlemen that are here in the studio with us today. You all obviously, obviously know Brad. He's been here several times and will continue to join us over the winter season as the Winter Nationals are taking place. But we also have in the studio... Kenny Schrader. Yes. Just Welcome a, back. Just an old, just an old racer. <laughs> just an old racer. You and Brad can share over there. Yeah, yeah you and Brad can share over there. Okay. And we have joining us Mike Wallace. Hello. You acted like you were gonna pass that over to your brother. Why should I pass that to him? He, no, he gets all the attention. You right. act, you, act, you automatically acted like you were going to do that. And I was going to say, you take this limelight for yourself for once. Yeah, well, he's the third brother. He's yeah. always striving for attention. So we got to <coughs> get it done beforehand. I am excited to be here. Great well, racetrack, great fun. Had a good trip down to the border yesterday. I, we saw that video yesterday. You and Kenny went down, and Sheriff Leon Wilmot gave you a tour. 
And the day before, we also, oh yeah, we also have John Schneider here. Hey, <laughs> hey good morning. Good morning. Yeehaw. Good morning. Yeehaw. <laughs> John Where's that camera? It's behind us. Anita's gonna come grab it right now. Okay, She's I'm grabbing it. John's always oh, camera. Oh, the phone right behind it. Hey. <laughs> Anita will be back in here. She'll get a good. She'll get a good uh, a oh, shot of everybody. Here terrific. Soon. Yeah. So I went to the border too. It was a lot of fun. Well, well um, somebody we'll... just bought something. Notifications on his phone. Make the phone ring. Make the phone ding. Sure. Well, Tuesday, special. Tuesday, he spent most of the hour here with us on the show, giving us a rundown of things that are happening right in our community. Yeah. And then Wednesday, he took John down by the border, and John is going to feature that in his podcast next week. Yes, I am. Tuesday. That. Tuesday. We will be watching for it. Yes. And then yesterday, Kenny and Mike uh, went down there, the Wallace brothers, and they saw the opportunity firsthand. Or you had the opportunity to see what is happening. And gentlemen, thank you for that video because. I've seen still images, I've seen some of the coverage from the national level, but I've never seen the trash, the literal trash that you portrayed in the video that you shared, and the enormity of that. I, I just couldn't even fathom that. All that goes... Kenny's all about trash. Uh, 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 well, all that goes <laughs> to my other brother, Ken Schrader, because I wasn't going to go, because I don't like to get up in the morning, and they're like, you got to meet in the lobby at 9 o'clock. I'm like, I'm not going, that's too early. And uh, Kenny Schrader... I've known my whole life. He looked at me dead serious. He goes, you need to go. So uh, I want to thank Kenny because, if you know, it's one of those. And, you know, I look, I look back at it. I, I don't know if I really wanted to go now because it changed me so much. It was so heartbreaking. It was. Well, it was you, horrible. You really focused on the fact that the garbage we were seeing, like you said, these are families. There were uh, bottles for baby food, just different things. Medicine. That, yes. Yeah. There's a lot. Of, but also there were, excuse me. <laughs> there were uh, identification papers, there were uh, licenses, there was money, money from anything that would uh, that would tie the, the individual to where they came from, Country they leave water. there in the dirt. Uh, I have actually in my pocket, I think it's a wedding ring. <gasps> Are that, you serious? Uh, that, yeah, that, that I found. That's in insane. There. I was, oh my you know gosh. What? I, I lost that last night. I was <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, this bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> you must have quit. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get past the knuckle. But uh, yeah, so we learned a whole lot uh, about not only what's going on down there, but what goes on before it and mm -hmm. what goes on after. That nobody in the the uh, mainstream media, actually nobody anywhere, is really talking about because nobody's been here mm -hmm. to learn anything about it. Right, and, and we, we try and uh, let people know, based on what a lot of you are seeing on certain outlets, that might not be a true representation of what we are living with every day, with the the lack of the enforcement in our area, just a variety of things. Well, we yeah, and they're not allowed. The, 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 um, the, the law enforcement here, the Border Patrol, they are hobbled by our current, uh, I put my, my quotation fingers up, administration mm -hmm. uh, they are not allowed to do their jobs really and then their current administration will then will then chastise them for not doing their jobs right. even though it's them that are keeping them from doing their jobs so the the, the problem is uh, they're passing it off to everybody as a humanitarian thing we're gonna let these refugees over but they're coming through the cartel and I've always wondered what does that mean they're mm -hmm. coming through yeah. the cartel well, right on the other side of the dam, or right on the other side of the Colorado River, there are uh, uh, what the gentleman called it, black on black. So there are folks over there dressed in black pants with black shirts who are representatives of the cartel who must be paid in order for you to be granted an opportunity to take a chance to come into the United States. So you pay them whether you can get in or not. And God help you if you if you don't pay them all the money because then they will loan it to you. Mm -hmm. And those are the folks who are, are if, if you get across and you owe the cartel some money, those are the folks whose families are then split up because they are sold, not trafficked. Mm -hmm. I think trafficked is is much too light a word. Indentured servitude is what They are sold in, in slavery. They're mm -hmm. sold into slavery. They get in the buses. They get on the planes. They go wherever it is they go to try for the next rest of their lives to pay not only the, the, the amount that they borrowed, but the interest and the penalties and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, and it's never ending. These, these people are totally screwed when and if they get here. 
because of the way they came through. And our administration has not told us anything about any of that, and, it, and it's, it's, uh, it's a travesty. It's, and, it's, a, and it's a crime again. What our, what our folks are doing right now, what our vice president is doing is a crime against humanity under the guise of a humanitarian effort, mm -hmm. and that is, in my mind, unforgivable. And, and that's why we're so appreciative that you guys use your platform. Like Jennifer said, this is something that we see every single day. And for you guys to use your platform to help get the word out of what's really going on in our communities, it, it really is a scary thing. I know I know Kenny was mentioning, you know, he, he was he was a bit nervous when, when all of that was going down. They were carrying guns. Yes, yes they were. And and, and again this so is the, this is a, this is the reality of what we Me live too. in. And so for you guys to use your platforms, you know, and you guys are busy racing out at Coca yes. Speedway but for you to take yeah. the time to go out and do that. Taking, we really appreciate it. That time. Well, it was an amazing opportunity and Sheriff Leon uh, offered his his time and his his uh, perspective on it. It was wonderful. We met some Border Patrol as well. And uh, shout out to all of them working so hard. Yeah, yes. oh, yeah. Now yes. the working. big the big question: What are the thoughts on his mustache? Isn't it one of the most amazing things ever? <laughs> <laughs> we have a long line of Yuma County sheriffs with the best mustaches ever. So, yeah. very there, great. There, there, there you go. Great. <laughs> all very right. Great. Eat great. your heart out, Sam yeah. Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, you know, do you know Sam? Can you get him here? Can I get Sam here? Sam's one of those, those it doesn't matter if you're eight or 112. You say you know him and all the ladies. <gasps> you know, I oh. do some Sam Elliott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's stop racing. Oh, there's Sam pl there's plenty of going on. <laughs> 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 all right, well, we, we've already addressed that racing started earlier this week and it does continue. I know we have so many great things. All right, come on, Kenny Schrader. Well, I, you know, it's my second year out here and I just cannot believe the growth in the last year mm -hmm. how many more cars how many more uh people have brought their rvs out I more, mean, more it, than doubled brad it is a city yes it's, it's more than doubled yeah it's just it's amazing and this is what year is it all together third third year so i think uh <laughs> you know when you're building an event like this you got to get over that hump well it's really big to get over that hump instantly you know and so it's it's no telling how big it's going to be but it's already big. Well, and you've raced many dirt tracks around the nation, yeah, probably yeah. worldwide, but people love the Cocopa Speedway because of how well it's maintained. Well, m most definitely, you know, uh, an event like this, first off is you want a uh, destination. Mm -hmm. And Yuma in January, it's a whole lot better than Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm a little more basic. I just know some stuff, you know, but I mean, it's nice to be out here in January. And then as, as a driver, you, you tow across country, you want to be treated nice and you want a good facility that you can race on, not follow the leader one mm -hmm. group. And the racetrack, uh, and it's just amazing the job they do. I mean, even the, the last races of the night, there's cars running around the bottom, the top, the middle, the, the surface. Uh, you know, it's, it's what we look at. The surface has been amazing. We could run all over it. So if you don't pass anybody, you got to come up with a new excuse. You can't blame it on the track. <laughs> I'm glad that you're recording this because that's hard to get that. <laughs> that's the way it's been the first couple. <laughs> Well, we're, we also have Kenny Wallace in the studio, and Kenny's been here a couple times as well. Yeah. Well, first of all, I want to thank brad for giving all of us free food on the first night so when the race i'm getting hungry now though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there, there's two kenny's here so i'm kenny and then kenny schrader so uh i want to add to what kenny schrader said uh i'm from st louis it's six degrees there right now uh and when you come out of here you know it, it, you're looking for something to do and uh, the very first night we raced brad kept you know, telling everybody all over the announcer, hey, after the race is going to be some free food. And, and all of us, uh, what were them tips? Tip steaks or what? Tri tip. Tri tip. Tri -tip. It's big on the West Coast. I was going to say, it's first, that's weird that somebody doesn't know what tri tip is, but it's tri -tip. big over here. But I'm, here's my point hundreds of people uh, were lined up, and you all, I mean, I, I don't think I've ever been to a racetrack where you serve hundreds of people, it's free. So, yeah, it, it's fun to come out here. Now, didn't Brad, Brad Johnson have a lot to do with that? 100%. Yes. The BMS so, South when they Lake said Stars. Brad gave you free food, <laughs> yes, it was who Brad, was it? It was Brad Johnson who. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah. We, had, uh, we did have free food, 
And uh, <laughs> thank you, Brad Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you, thank you, Brad. That was that was two days ago, though, Brad. Are you getting hungry? I'm getting hungry. My stomach, <laughs> my stomach is growling. <laughs> well, can't Is there anything in that lunchbox? No, yeah, it's not. Sugar it's not. Already, it's not. Janice failed. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm, you, Janice. but I would uh, to end that is that. Um, <laughs> It, it's. I agree with Kenny 100. percent it, It's a destination. We we. I can sit home in St. Louis right now. You know, people say, "Oh my God, you race too much you're everywhere." I'm like, "Hold on, give me a break." It, it's January. It's six right. degrees, and we just. It's snowing. What else you want me to do? <laughs> oh yeah, okay, I get it. So this is a destination race. And the last two years, there was, you know, a nice count, but with IMCA, which is the largest and the oldest sanctioning body in America. They made a big deal out of it. Now we're all together. We're all one big happy unit. And my gosh, there's I mean, it's one big camping center right now. Well, I don't know about that whole deal, but I know you guys have been here and John and I have shown up this year and it's yeah. double in size. I was going to say, I don't really know if there's worse see, power <laughs> That, that, that one you heard is Mike Wallace, so Kenny did bring his brother with him this time, and, and you got to enjoy the track for the first time? I did, very first time out here. Uh, Brad called. Uh, you know, you got to know how all these connections come together, mm -hmm. and it's fun to tell people because they don't know it. My brother Kenny calls and says, hey, Brad's going to call you, he's, and he goes, he's one of us. Just talk to him. No. Aww. <laughs> you know? That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I don't know if that's good, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I said cool. I said cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we talked for a while, and we talk, and, and he's actually calling me to get John Schneider's connection because that's who he really wants. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. Did, did I shame you, Ben? No, he's Kenny. Yeah. He's Kenny, not Brad. And, 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 and Mike explained the six degrees of separation to me. So I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee with Kenny Schrader. And then I see John Schneider down there, and we become, you know, we meet each other and exchange. Uh, I don't know, we didn't exchange phone numbers. But so then all of a sudden it's like, you know, by the time you get to the fifth person, Hey, call this guy because he knows Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> so, but all that we're here. We're here. Car counts outstanding. The casino's yeah. doing well. The spectators <laughs> are loving it. The racetrack's wonderful. The border experience was. Yeah. Scary. The border experience was <laughs> just unique. I mean, I wish that we we could. I wish we had every major news channel for an hour. Yes. In the world that give us us group right here. The authority to go show what's going on because it's it's not exposed. But away from that, the race at Cocopa is wonderful. They run so many cars so fast. Brad's funnier than hell because he'll call a guy. We got these what they call race receivers. They go in your ear and mm -hmm. you can hear him calling the race. And if he doesn't like the way something's going or somebody's running, <laughs> the whole garage jury knows what he's doing. <laughs> I forgot what number car. He says, "Okay." Five car, get off the racetrack. Idiot, get off my track. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to wreck somebody. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah, no, he Why was. did you call that guy out before he ran me over? Well, after he ran you over. I did you get him. rid of him? I did. No, well, I didn't get rid of him, but I did say to him, I said 4D, and that's who it was, 4D, oh. way to what give and take out? tonight. Not. Oh, oh, that's exactly oh, yeah. what I said. We, we have to take a quick break, but Lori is watching us on our Sunset Health Facebook live feed, and she says, can someone give Brad Rusty's number? <laughs> uh, here, let me just Wait. give it to you all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to be back after this break on Z93 and Outlaw Country. The show is brought to you by Quick Refrigeration, where today is Free, free filter, filter Friday. Friday. Take your old, dirty, dusty air filter down to 190 West 10th Street, and they will swap it out with a brand new standard one-inch air filter for free. Remember, you need to change those out on a regular basis because the filters are the lungs of your home. And Sprague Sports, head on over and visit Yuma's newly enlarged 15-lane indoor shooting range featuring elect target, electronic target retrieval equipment, rubber trap, ballistic panel lanes for a quieter shooting experience, and comfortable remodeled classroom space at Sprague's on 32nd Street. And Telegram's <laughs> Plasma reminds you, donors help save lives. You can be part of the solution and earn over $1,000 for 10 donations. Visit GripplesPlasma.com for more details. And Ed Whitehead's Tire Pros, one of the main causes of tire failure is underinflation, causing the tires to flex more in the sidewall, heat up, and blow out. Ed Whitehead's Tire Pros can quickly and affordably take care of all your tire needs. And Yuma 
Baldwin Elson is a locally owned full service wholesaler and they specialize in plumbing, waterworks, and industrial piping supplies. Their motto is, we're pros like you. And Arizona Marketplace is open for the season. They're open Thursdays through Sundays each week, starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. Lots of vendors, plus wine and beer and entertainment each day. Stop by. It is today in Yuma. We'll be back after the break. You're really good. <laughs> We're rushing. We got to give you guys more time. Two things Sunday I got is out of our that. fifth Where, anniversary. Where's the wine in the beer? <laughs> What time is I can go make you some, yes. Oh, if you, if you cream, do double, a 10 plasma donations, you can earn up to $1,000. Oh, I was thinking it, okay. I have sugar, but I don't know yeah, if I have cream. Um, that's cream. why they give you a grand, but then they, 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 they I'm going to make coffee. Make oh, okay. It's not what you Somewhere the next segment, I want to get Yes, yes. I tried, that's right. No, no, no. You guys, you're on the Well, we're giving them on a roll. And this is a compliment. You are a more authoritative figure about this tasty fruit that's when you get grown. I've grown. And I'm not just talking about out either. No, I mean, yeah, you're. When you get that many people together, you know, it's like I've always said about Bob Sarge. I've always said Bob's a bigger man. A lot of that comes from Elvis's birthday. So much that he got. You remember Jewel Day? Papa Nancy was free to attend. Piss on these assholes. Right. Unfiltered during the break. It's okay. We are live on the radio. It's not. We're on the camera. It's okay. We're all adults here. The radio. We're so I was sitting in my house listening. I'm like, fucking lie. This is way off. Well, that guy was. That guy was. Uh, I think it was a Tuesday night. The guy was must have been hot dogging it on a red. Oh, piss me off! Oh, I, oh, I can hear that. <laughs> yeah. I can hear that. Get off my track! Yeah, that you're was done. great. I mean, you're, you're done. done. You're done. done. Get out of here. <laughs> It was hot dogging during a red. I don't know what the red was. I, I was in line. Josh, this is it. awesome. I want to say it was. He worked with Nell. It was, oh, it does pretty he? good, whatever it was. Yeah. And just flying right into that corner at the red. That white car. Yes. It yes. Was. Oh, boy. Timmy Ward had his life flashed before his eyes. Oh, you were not kidding. <laughs> I saw him. Nobody you know, touched him. in there and it's like, so you're not face all up on yourself. 180 the wrong way. It's like, wow, this got to be exciting, Tim. All right, here we go. We're coming back. <laughs> Hi, Nell. Here we go. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm Teresa. Hanging around with us a little bit longer this morning. Brad, with Brad Whitfield with Cocoa Paw Speedway, John Schneider, Kenny and Mike Wallace, and Kenny Schrader. You guys are, we love having you, you here. You're so much you, fun. You forgot the one sitting next to you. I, I said his name first. Oh, okay. No, you didn't. I I, I said Brad, I said John Schneider she right did. after Brad Whitfield. All right, just making like, sure you don't forget somebody. We got a full studio today. I got his name right. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? If you're in the community and you want to have the opportunity to meet these gentlemen, when they leave here, they're going to head on over to Alexander Ford. There is a meet and greet 10 a.m. until noon on 32nd Street. Absolutely. We're excited about doing that. So you can experience this yourself. Is there any lunch? That's yes, what yes. I want. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go do lunch at Burger uh, uh, I, I think he's work. hungry. Kenny doesn't, he doesn't well, he eat breakfast. he hasn't eaten breakfast. since Monday. Yes, he doesn't <laughs> eat breakfast. We learned that. Yeah, we only, we only eat free food. We, <laughs> we're like media, you know. He That's said, all we do is eat free food. Hey, <laughs> you don't own that. No, no, he said free food. He didn't say one day. You're <laughs> <laughs> supposed to ration it out. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we've got more racing today and tomorrow. And tomorrow, I understand there's going to be a, a shortly before races start, the national anthem. What is tomorrow? Always. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, yes, before, right. <laughs> it, 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 it's going to be sung by someone famous. Yeah. Well, Bo, John Schneider, Bo <laughs> well, well. He's a, oh, he's a good singer. I'm going to jump in that. I didn't know he was singing a national anthem. Yes. And I hope you do this. So John and I met up a year ago, two years ago, back in, down in Chatham, Louisiana. We're both racing. And all of a sudden I'm hearing this national anthem plus this cool preaching going on. And he gives this greatest story of why you should be happy to be American. That's right. Well, don't oh, give I mean, a, it's don't a, give a spoiler alert. Pardon? It's a spoiler alert. Oh, it's a, don't yeah. ruin it. Oh, I'm gonna, I, I don't know if that's what he's going to do, but I'm going <laughs> to yeah. entice him and ask him to do it because it's like, you just shut the motor off, get out, and go, yeah, I'm part of this deal. <laughs> oh, my so that's, that's the one thing that we are going to do. We're going to clear the pits. Everybody in the pits is going to be out on the front straightaway, and it's, it's going to be an American moment. 
So I think that's great. It's, it's very important, I think, for people to understand what the national anthem is. And you know, we're the only <clears throat> we're the only country who has a national anthem that is not a <clears throat> statement of power. It is, you know, all the other national anthems. We are out, out, out. We're all. They're all like, like uh, uh, putting their peacock feathers up, saying, you know, we're the best and we're the greatest. And if you consider it, and I bet you never have, our national anthem is a question, and it begins and ends with the same question. Oh, oh, say, can you see? Is our flag still up? Well, That's the question. I is never our flag still up? It. And it's not a place for celebrities just to sit out there and and, uh, and show off. It's our national anthem. And it's a question we are asked every time we hear that, every time we sing it. And it's up to us to make sure that the answer remains yes. So there. That's a little... Uh, that's good stuff. That's <laughs> I'm inspired. But I want to thank Brad for having the, the, uh, the softest concrete walls that I've... <laughs> Familiar with that, I've been huh? with every damn one say, of them. Did, did, did. So, so what you tell us <laughs> the world is Bo Duke came out. Yo, oh God, yeah. Well, yesterday I jumped. I tried to jump the wall. Unbeknownst to me, I, I try and tr finally last night I was trying to adult, uh, get adult, because something had happened in my car to my car the first wreck. <laughs> I numbered my wrecks because I have them <laughs> all the time, but that wasn't my fault. It wasn't. No, I was avoiding. Was I was avoiding a wreck and, and t bone somebody. Uh, but then my car was wonky. It took about three laps for me to realize, because I thought, maybe you're freaked out because you just ran into somebody's door, and maybe you're doing something wrong. So I came through, and I thought, no, there's just something is not right. So, uh, and folks, I have not been doing this very long. So I realized something was not right. I remember coming into turn one, thinking, okay, just, just do laps. Just do laps. Stay, hold your line. Stay out of the way. Number one guy passed me on the straightaway. Number two guy passed me. I just was about to see the number three guy because I, I want to finish this damn race. Right. And then all of a sudden, sparks and noise, and, and somebody ran me into the wall. Did you say Yeehaw? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I think Something. I said, what the Yeehaw was that? <laughs> Some dumb some bitch tried to drive over me. At some, it's like in Jackie Gleason, you know. So, oh no, yeah. son is not the bad word in there. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. They, but they yeah, use that word but I hit the I case. hit the wall and sparks were flying and it was uh, it was fun. But I, I I tell you, this has been this has been great. I've never raced for uh, five days in a row ever. It, it's it's, it's a lot. You gotta make it. Oh yeah, okay. I'm by my car. They got my car to it's headed to the frame, frame straightener it's headed, right it's now. To the frame shop right now. And, yep. and, hey, and how is our tow truck driver? How is Papa? yes? How is he doing? So, we had a. Schrader's gonna have to tell me to help me tell this story. Um, he fell, and we learned that he hit his head, oh. and he had some paralysis, and he uh, things were looking grim. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was telling this at the driver's meeting yesterday, and, and there's a pastor that's a racer. His son races too, and he said, can we have a, say a prayer? Absolutely. And we said a prayer, and um, somebody wanted to pass the hat, you know, pull up a collection for him. And he hadn't woken up. Things just looked bad. And about 30, 35 minutes after... We had our driver's meeting. I got a call that he woke up and was moving oh, his feet. Oh, oh, thank, oh, thank the Lord. Lord. Yes. Thank God. Thank Continue prayers for him. Absolutely. He's got a very long road of recovery. They raised a bunch of money for him. Uh, you know, these guys have seen this stuff before. This is the first time that I've seen it. Very, and Lloyd is my right-hand man. Yes. Oh. Um, what I am to Coco Paw Speedway, he is to me. You know, he, he's just that close to me. And it, it shook me pretty good. Well, we yeah, will continue well, to pray for him. Doing, he's doing good. Yes, yeah. absolutely. A quick question, John, because you are about six foot three inches tall. Yeah. Um, how Not anymore. After last night, I think I'm six beat down. two. <laughs> are you jump, jumping into your little General Lee here like you did the OG General Lee? You know, people want me to, but the, the seat is different. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. There's more stuff to hit yourself on. <laughs> in, uh, There's some serious damage there. But uh, I get in and out. In the General Lee, I can get in and out. Did, did, Almost like I used to. Did you and Tom do your own slides into the the original? Oh yeah, thing? absolutely. Okay. All right, I'm just I can't. He did it on the passenger side. I don't know how though. in the world he did that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we had a, a quick start. We had a, a way to get in there because we did it so much. Where I had the steering wheel to deal with, so I, I it would take me a little bit longer. 
So Tom would get in the window. He would reach over and start the car with his left hand and have his right hand on the, on the shifter. So all I would do is I would get in, I would reach for the, the steering wheel, and my legs are long, so I would floor it. So a lot of times when you watch Dukes of Hazard, the car is actually taking off before my butt is in the seat. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, and it's great. And we that just kind of worked out after. And it was real life. I mean, that's the way it was. It was happening as you were doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, and cars fly. Well, people wanted to know out at Coquaw Speedway if you were making the car fly out there. I did a little bit last night, but it wasn't intentional. <laughs> I was at number four. 4D. 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 I, I, I want to say something. What's that? You, you know, in, in life, you, you, you get older, you live life, and you, you meet a lot of famous people. Like So for me, us racers, you know, you meet Richard Petty, you're like, oh my gosh, right. there's Richard Petty, right? right? You grow up, you want to be Richard Petty. And you meet a lot of people along the way, but you know when when you see John, it's like somebody oh my, bought something. I'm like, oh my gosh! You know, well, I mean, I mean, when I, you know, was growing up, I mean, 16, 18 years old. I mean, the number one show was Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. I mean, it's just so when you see him, it's like it's bigger than big. But until you you know start seeing more famous people and more famous people, you know, you try to give them their space. And like, oh, there's just another, you know famous guy but you know sit next to John right now I mean there, there are people that are the fabric of the United States mm -hmm. you know what I mean you, you date yourself by shows right yeah he had mash and mm -hmm. mash was like unbelievable it's like oh my god biggest show you know back then you know like the Lucille Ball show let's go way back to I mean 60 million people were watching those right. shows now we got 800 TV channels so it's way different now now if you get like six million people it's a big deal but you know, when, when Dukes of Hazard was on, I mean, that was unbelievable. So for John to be here at Coca Cola Speedway. Are you fanboying over this too? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think people Say should. Have, but I think people should have respect. I mean, it's no different with Kenny Schrader. He's yeah. my brother. I love him. And, and when people don't know who Kenny is or my brother Mike, I'm like, let me remind you who they are. Yeah. So, so like right now, you know, I mean, there's this thing Daryl Waltrip said. He said, you know, I won three NASCAR championships, and it hurts my heart to this day that now people, all they know me by is the Cars movie. The movie? I'm like, you don't know Daryl Waltrip, the three-time NASCAR champion? Mm. You know, so, and, and I'm the guy, uh, sometimes I'm too soft-hearted, yeah. but, but, you know, you're, with John Schneider, Kenny Schrader, uh, I mean, these are legends of, of, of my time. Mm -hmm. These guys are incredible, so oh. it, lucky that we're just... It's part of the journey in life to hang out with somebody. I mean, A.J. Yeah. Foyt. Man, when I oh, first God. saw A.J. Foyt, I was scared to death. Were you Were you scared of A.J., Kenny? Um, <laughs> I, I met him under a little different terms. Drink? Yeah, no, no, but uh, no, I just, just a hero guy. Uh, my wife would go up to him, and because he's fairly intense, you know, and she'd inter bring some people up and say, AJ, these are friends of mine. I want to get you to sign something. Don't act like an ass. <laughs> um, so I would never do that. That's what you just sign the stuff. Yeah. Be nice to me. <laughs> no, I would not do that. So yeah, it just everybody's the same. You know, you just you meet a lot of different people, but you think a lot. You, you think a lot about a lot of serious stuff. So, no, but but, I, but on the opposite end, Kenny doesn't think anything of himself. I'm like. He, it you drives me crazy. Drives me no, nuts. No, it's not. It, it's it's, it's <laughs> not that at all. I just, he thinks I just he's just an to, old boy. I just want to turn left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna chime in here. So Kenny Schrader is America's racer. No, Absolutely, just, just, he yep. is. Absolutely. I did a podcast. Sorry, Kenny, but you are. been on and we nicknamed him America's racer because he's raced everywhere in the country. Yeah. He's probably got the biggest. Well, what we used to call it a Rolodex, but phone entry. <laughs> he's, he's buddies Contacts. with everybody. I got a Rolodex still. Oh, <laughs> you know, so uh, you know, over it in your, you know, over at the Vatican, the Pope comes out. Oh, stop it! And, and, and the Pope, <laughs> the Pope is looking out at all these people, and the Pope goes, "Hey, Schrader." <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Wallace was the first one that I brought in, and I don't remember what radio station that I was at, 
we called him and <coughs> talked to him on the phone. Well, now it's time to do an interview with him. You remember this? I froze. Completely starstruck. You, know? <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. And he's texting me like, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> you know, I'm like, I, 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 don't, I don't know. You know, I, I completely froze. Because growing up, Rusty was the man in the middle of the engine car. And Kenny was the, the mouth of the south. Of the south. The mouth of the and, south. And, and Mike was one of the best plate racers out there. I just happened to have my 2000 Daytona Wind t shirt. Throwback. <laughs> <laughs> we're not in a truck race. As we're going to the Ford dealership. I thought I appropriately wear it. Nice, I appreciate nice. that. But, but I mean. Good shirt. It held up good. <laughs> and, and Kenny Schrader, I watched him in, I want to say it was a Southwest tour race at Phoenix. I want to say he lapped the field three times. No. Well, he told he, us it was, it was a four. <laughs> well, okay, so see, that's why he keeps telling me no, because it was four. But anyway, I, I told him, I said, you're one of my heroes. And what did you say? You need to raise your standards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my you're gosh. screwed up. <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I, I'm very blessed and very fortunate to be in the position that I am to meet these guys and have relationships with these guys. You know, and, and, and you, Teresa and Jennifer, have been nothing short of amazing in the support that you have given us and getting the community involved in Cocopaw Speedway. It's, you it's provide pretty phenomenal. You provide entertainment, something phenomenal for our community that's family friendly. Yeah. And to be able to partner with you and then share the word with those in Yuma so they can get out and enjoy it. And I mean, hello, 70 degrees in January. Can't yeah, beat that. Yeah. That's, that's what you really got going for you, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Now you pull that off, but good job. You, you good know job. what, though, Brad, when we were sharing information, or maybe it was, no, John, I think, had one of his videos from Wednesday, and people were commenting that they had made multiple trips in and out of here hauling produce, but never knew we had a dirt track. Oh. So that now is going to draw those people back, Absolutely. too. Yeah. Well, and, oh, great. And, and, and their platform helps us. Yes. You know, and, and the, the economic impact, and we're we're going to work on the visit Yuma to get the economic impact that Coke Plus Speedway brings. It, it well, does. It does. It really does. And, and this, with the Winter Nationals, too, is going to bring so many people, not just the racers and their families that are here, too, but the spectators that are coming from all over. Absolutely. Uh, and, and today being Friday and Saturday, you know, people during the week have to work, and we get that. Tonight, fan count's definitely going up. Saturday is going to be great. More racers will be coming in. So, hey, can I offer something in that? Because absolutely I think it's can. going to be really big. You absolutely can. We're going to allow the first 10,000 people that show up to buy a ticket. <laughs> what a deal. And if you're 10,001, you probably will not have the opportunity to purchase a ticket because it'll be a so long So, everyone show up first. To remember, first 10,000 that show up. Get to buy a ticket. Well, if, if this studio has done anything, it shows the level of expertise that we have out at Cocopaw Speedway. Thanks to Brad and his amazing team, um, you have brought all this talent to Yuma, and we are so fortunate to be able to experience that ourselves. And all it takes is you to go buy your ticket and get out to Cocopaw Speedway. The first 10,000. The first 10,000. <laughs> get them. If you we buy a full price ticket, we promise that the second ticket will cost exactly the same price. <laughs> <laughs> Inflation's not happening. Right. No, 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 no. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break because these guys have to head on out and get on over to Alexander for that meet and greet. Starting. So, if they're a little bit late, well, it's our fault. Hey, can you take sure one fault. minute? Yeah. Yeah. Our buddy John, he's got some cool swag. All right. Hey, oh. on the trailer to racetrack. So we normally don't do this, but yeah, well, your swag. You. Tell people where we got. It. We've got some movies there. I did a uh, a wonderful uh, tribute to Smoking the Bandit. It's called Stand uh -huh. on It, uh, and then we did a sequel to that. It's called Poker Run. So if you are missing good old fashioned Southern horsepower comedy. <laughs> Then uh, get a hold of those movies. You can come to the track. We have them there. Or you can go to johnsnyderstudios.com. We're independent. I think you can tell. I, 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 <laughs> I live what I speak. So we have no aspirations to get into bed with Netflix or any other people who are uh, propagators of child porn. Um, so we, we just make and distribute our own movies and our own music. We have uh, brand new music. You should check it out. It's Certainly our Spotify. Will. There's a, a new album called Truck On, and uh, I'm sure that you will love it. The old music from the old days is great, but check out the new stuff. Uh, it's a celebration of our country. It's a celebration of our truck drivers and the folks that have, uh, have been making sure that there's lettuce 
right? Absolutely. Yes, everywhere. Got it. Keeping you know, the, America's the, food chain keeping moving. Keeping America's food chain moving and everything. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Mike. And now I'm also I'm so excited that I'm finally doing in my in my life what people thought I've been doing the whole time. You know, I never never really raced except celebrity stuff way back when. Uh, so to actually be out there in the dirt and actually being in that, that what I call the hornet's nest is, uh, is very exciting for me. Yes, I do hit the wall on occasion, but I'm not afraid of the wall anymore because I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> so I enjoy you it. Thank stupid. you for welcoming me. Thank you well, for we're welcoming glad me Glad you at least this. acknowledged that. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for welcoming me into this, uh, into this world that you guys have made so, uh, so great for so many people. And, uh, and you, you, you've been terrific to me, so I appreciate that. Um, except for that 4D guy, whatever that was. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't forgotten. Randy. No, no, no. Not, not going to forget that. But thank All you, right. and everybody come on out to the races. I promise you're never going to have more fun on a Friday or Saturday night. And uh, it's, it is so exciting, yeah. so exciting uh, to watch those cars go and to hear them in the dirt and the dust. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, it is great. So uh, we have a song called Let's Get Dirty. So come on out. And let's get dirty. And thank you all. We have five people here, and we are celebrating our fifth anniversary of today, and you yes. Sunday. Yay. Thank you. This is, this, is, this is just week one of Winter Nationals. We kick. We will race tonight, tomorrow night. We're going to take a short break. Schrader says he needs a little rest. We'll give him no, some he rest. Needs to, you, is there more free food, food on Monday? Yeah, some food. We're, we're right. gonna, trust me, we're going to feed him today. <laughs> <laughs> Start back up next Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Either. All right. Hey, well, what's the Ford dealer we're going to? Alexander Ford. We're heading Ford. over to Alexander Ford right now, meet and greet, 10 a.m. till noon, and then we got a feed trader. That means, like, <laughs> if you're in your car or you're in your house, you're listening, fire that baby up and come down to we'll Alexander Ford. And we'll see right. you over there. All right. All right. It is Today in Yuma. We'll be back after this break. We'll take our village and pizza parlor selfie out in the courtyard. Today in Yuma is brought to you by Allen Barnes & Jones. They understand in these financially challenging times, you may be searching for the light at the end of the tunnel, and they're here to help with your personal or business bankruptcy needs. Call 783-2161 to set up your free consultation. And Advocate Pest and Wildlife Specialist is locally owned and operated, offering general pest control, termite treatment and inspection, pigeon extraction, safety main, wildlife relocation. You can find all the details at AdvocatePest.com. And why wait for a table at Broken Yoke Cafe? Enjoy the convenient wait list option. Go to the Broken Yoke Cafe com. Click on your BYC. You may info pops up. Then you scroll over and hit the wait list. If no one's waiting, it lets you know. And if people are waiting, add your name and number in your party, and it'll give you a current wait time and updates when to head on over. It's today in Yuma. We'll be back after the break. Thank you. That's yeah. Thank you. Five years. We've been doing it five years. <laughs> And we just decided to do it on a whim. Yeah, yeah. Really? One, one Sunday we had another show in, no, and I told her she I comes know. in on Friday and she goes, "Are you ready for the Jennifer and Teresa show?" I said, "Isn't that every day?" She goes, "No, for reals on the radio starting Monday." I said, "Let's do it." Good for you. And that's what it's been. Do great. Thank you. Let's go take a let's go take another picture. Absolutely. But I'm posting the posting us in here right oh, now. Cool. Got that. You gotta get faster at this. <laughs> Home uh, Z93 Outlaw and Outlaw Country. That's right. Gotta play the new music. It's so good. I'm, I'm sure we'll get right so on good. that. I mean, <laughs> it's better than all the number one stuff from way before. Oh, we're still live, but it really is. It's better than all the number one stuff from before. That's awesome. Just go to uh, Spotify. Alright, here we go. Alright, everybody get in. He's on in here. Hey! Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Alright, thank, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. We're coming out tomorrow. Yeah. We're coming out tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. We're coming out tomorrow. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Great to see you again. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're good. They're humble by that. So, thank you. I've got a picture somewhere of Ricky when he was like 11 on my shoulder. Oh my gosh. All right, and hang on, one of us real quick, and Michael Potter. Oh, okay. Oh, gotta have that. Cooking yes. for Cocoa Pop. You gotta do that. Cooking for Cocoa Pop. Cook for Cocoa Pop. <laughs> one, two, three. Awesome. I think you, you should challenge to people to say that three times. <laughs> <laughs> I think our break is shorter. Our break is shorter. We need to get back. Oh, that would be a funny video. Thank you. I forgot about that. That was all over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
Thank you, Anita. Yeah, of course. For all your um, hosting, also, you're such a wonderful host. I know, she's, she's running back and forth. <laughs> no worries. Happy birthdays. Yes. I don't think we rattled off those sponsors as quick as we have this <laughs> today. Holy cow. Well, since I did the, I flip flop too. I got on the. I know. I was like on my page. I'm like, what? I'm confused. Welcome back to today in Yuma. You're Jennifer, and I'm Teresa. And let's breathe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's been an awesome day today. It's a wonderful it, way to celebrate our fifth anniversary. It, it is, and again, a big thank you. And there were some we weren't able to get in. I believe we had some of the the, track, ma the, the track managers. Yeah, and we're sorry for that. Yeah. But uh, Brad, John Schneider, Kenny and Mike Wallace, Kenny Schrader, thank you all so much for joining us this morning and sharing info about Yuma, about Coke Paw Speedway. Everything. It, it was it was it was really awesome. And again, if you're listening and you want to meet them, head on over to Alexander Ford right now. Yes, and Foodie Delicious normally does a giveaway, but she's not here right now. Yeah, she's not. She's not but here today. For for her birthday. She remember, she's a Christmas baby. She is. Early last year we were sharing stories here and talking about stuff when we were younger and she wanted a Dukes of Hazard lunchbox. Jen's showing on her, the sense her of Her mom sold Tupperware, here. so Janice was not able to have a Dukes of Hazard lunchbox. Yes. And so I found her one. And she just, we just got it signed by John Schneider. She, for is, she is so excited. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? Yes. And, and it's, it's one of those things, uh, she certainly wasn't expecting that. And I had to hold on to it for about nine months because I knew I wanted to wait for her birthday. Yes. But it's just such a, a wonderful opportunity to meet these gentlemen, but have big names like this yes. here in our community, providing entertainment out at Coca Paw Speedway. That's right. It, it's going to be a great weekend. I'm excited. We're going to be out there tomorrow um, and, and get out there. You know, Brad has done such a great job to bring these this awesome talent to our Yuma community. We want to get out there and support him. So if you've never been out to the Coca Paw Speedway, I guarantee you this is the weekend to do it. Yes, and that we had so many comments that were coming in. I know, the, all over. Sunset Health feed, but we'll, we'll do our best to try and respond to some of those too. But one of our friends, Janelle, she lives in Iowa. So when Kenny was talking, Kenny Schrader was talking about the weather in Iowa, she's like, oh, it's not too bad. It's going to be warming up. Yeah. But um, she tagged a friend of hers in it because because they're, they're fans of Kenny Schrader and they were watching and chiming along and we had people out here obviously wishing their prayers for Lloyd. Yes. Send, sending those out. Uh, but actually, I believe Lloyd's daughter was on, I believe, uh, or his sister, one or the other. I, I, all the comments, I can't see them now, um, say, you know, asking for prayers and, and we will continue, definitely continue oh, to pray. Yes, absolutely. But again, such wonderful guys. Thank you so much for joining us. They took time to sign a couple autographs they for here, here in the studio. And someone said, who won the tickets? We, we gave away tickets yesterday and the the winners have already come in and claimed those, so if you did, did not get a text that you were the winner, then that means you were not the winner. <laughs> exactly. So, sorry about that. It, exactly. But, you know, again, there is, this is this is week one. There is a whole nother weekend of races going on next, starting next Wednesday, too. So we may have another chance to win. Just stay tuned. Yes, we have more. Actually, we have more tickets for several of the next races. Exactly. So we, we will hook you up with contest swag plus. Kenny Schrader brought us in some pretty cool t-shirts, But too. I get to pick first. Well, he before can, we give them away. Yeah, we, 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 <laughs> there's got to be perks to what we do. Okay? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but stay tuned because we will have some cool swag. We're not doing a Cat Shirt Friday giveaway today because we had a lot going on. We're a little busy this morning. But we, we have birthdays to do. You want to take a quick break and we'll come back and do birthdays? That'll work. We'll All share right. the Firehouse Subs birthday shout-outs right after this on Z93 and Outlaw Country. Just so we can get this break in. Spectrum Mobile is reinventing wireless again. Get unlimited. Sorry, that was loud. Yeah, that way we can get this break in. Janice, your emails all just came in. That must mean her, her internet's working again. <laughs> yeah. I have the FM studio door open. It was open. It got really warm in here with all those mobbies. Oh, no yeah. I'm actually going to open it again. They closed it. I was about to open this door because I'm like, it, it, it was warm. <laughs> you should have just left it open. I'm actually not cold right now. Well, and the sun is coming in through the window, window. so it's that thermal heating too. Yeah. But now, without all those people here, you open it up and it gets chilly real quick. Ugh.
I'll send you all the, all the pictures I took. Okay. White House Tire Pros. Yeah, we got tires for that. Well, I thought it was funny because Jen said where John was going to be sitting. <laughs> and I was totally kidding. That's just where he's at. Yeah, it just, it just it's happened like, okay, that way. well, we could do this and this. Because we're only wired for so many mics in here. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm like, and then John can share with me. He can sit by me. <laughs> it just happened to be that way. I really like Kenny Schrader. He's such a he's so humble. He's such a sweetheart. <laughs> One of those is for you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> is he watching? No, he's working. Uh -oh. But he he shared the other day. He goes, my sister got to meet Kenny Schrader, and I go, we're gonna have them all on the show Friday. He's a he, he's been a fan of racing since he could. Yeah, I was gonna say they are all NASCAR fans, mm -hmm. aren't they? Yeah, Tim's um, cousins are are. Indy uh, one Formula One and NASCAR. They follow the circuit. Oh, cool! So I can't wait to tag them. <laughs> Guess who was in our studio Definitely. today? <laughs> Aw, thanks, Cindy. <laughs> we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. We have some for Mike too. Yes. That is so cool. Oh, you got some too? Yeah. And I'll, I'll send you the pictures that I took of the of them, but also of the Kevin and the boys. Okay. Because you weren't in that picture with them, were you? No. Will oh. you um will you send it on Facebook so it's mm -hmm. very better quality? Yeah. It's Evie, that's right. It, and it was interesting to, to hear and see their perspectives yeah, too, though. It's weird because we see it every day yeah. for somebody else outside of you know, Yuma to see it, it it really kind of puts it in perspective. Yes, it really does. Here we go. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. We are ready for some birthdays. Yes, we sure are. These are the Firehouse Subs birthday shout outs. And we want to remind you the Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation saves lives through donation grants. And the way that works is when you buy something, you round up your change at the end. And those pennies add up so far okay. over $50 million nationwide. And we've seen it right here in our community. Yes, they provide training, support, and equipment for our hometown heroes. All right. Celebrating today, we have Elizabeth Yarlot on the birthday list. Oh, I wish this family was still here. I'm sure she'll, she'll get on and see it later. But we also want to wish Taylor Chamberlain a very happy birthday today. The Mrs. Cha-Cha. Yeah, the, <laughs> the Mrs. Cha-Cha. I like that. That's your new that. name, Taylor. I like that. <laughs> well, we also have a quick anniversary shout out for today. Some of our amazing uh, local humans and one of our, our farm families. John and Laura Dinsmore are celebrating 16 years of marriage today, so happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, you yes. guys. Is that it for today? That's all I got for today. Coming up on Saturday the 8th, we have Lori Garcia. I have a very special shout out to my brother, Mike. He is celebrating his birthday tomorrow, and I cannot believe how old we're getting. <laughs> I, I looked it up and I'm like, oh my goodness, he, he's going to be turning 36 years old tomorrow. So I want to wish my brother, Mike Lucero, a very, very happy, happy birthday tomorrow. If you are uh, out around town, go out to Mr. B's in the uh, Yuma Palms Mall and give him a shout out, give him a hug. Uh, most of you know him if you are. He's, uh, he's Bike Mike. He's Bike Mike over at Mr. B's in, in the Yuma Palms. So happy birthday, brother. I love you. That makes three of our brothers for January birthdays. Both of mine are January oh, and wow. one of yours. Yep, yeah, that's right. All right. Also celebrating, we have Randy Larson tomorrow. Tomorrow, celebrating tomorrow. Oh, I love this woman. Happy birthday to the beautiful Gwenda Brown. She is celebrating tomorrow. As is Maritza Saldivar. And this is really weird. My cousin and my brother were born the same day, one year apart, I believe. Brian Lucero, I want to wish you a very happy birthday tomorrow as well. All right. Do you have any more for Saturday? 
but no more for Saturday. Coming up on Sunday, January 9th, one of our favorite fellas, Chuck Woolenjohn, is celebrating. Happy birthday, Chuck. Also want to wish a very happy birthday. I have been so blessed to be able to call these this wonderful woman uh, family. Um, I absolutely love her. She's one of our amazing educators in our community. She's been she's getting ready to retire, and she's been a teacher the entire time. I mean, it's it's absolutely amazing. She's also Ollie's godmother. So I want to wish a very happy birthday to Molly Valenzuela. Happy almost birthday, Molly. Yes. Also celebrating on Sunday, we have Jason Taylor. Also want to wish a very happy birthday to Sue Cowley and Melanie Ware and my other cousin Talina Amadova happy birthday on Sunday <laughs> I'm, I'm related to everyone guys you, you are, know this. you are <laughs> also John Pine and Jennifer Rascone all right if you have a birthday coming up or an anniversary please share it with us go to monstermediayuma.com click on that today in Yuma tab look for the firehouse sub celebrate banner and fill that out because Mondays we draw a winner. Yes, we draw a winner for a free medium sub, chips, drink, and a dessert courtesy of Firehouse Subs. So get those birthday shout outs in. Um, it's super easy. Just go to monstermediayuma.com. Click on the Today in Yuma tab. Look for the Firehouse Sub logo with the Celebrate banner. Fill that little entry form out and it goes directly to my inbox. That's right. Get those in. All righty. Jen. What? This was an awesome way to celebrate five years. You know, it just happened by accident. It, it has. And, Which, I, and I have to say, it's been call that a, an amazing five years. We have... Uh, we have been working together longer than that. And it, we, we had always said, you know, this was something that we wanted to do together. And it, it was joking, usually. It, it was always joking because, well, what we normally talk about, you, we can't really say on the radio <laughs> half the time. But, that, it, I mean, it, it, we had always said, you know, this was something we want to do. And for it to grow into to what it has today, you know, I absolutely love our community and to be able to be on the radio and, and get the word out on all the amazing things that we have here going on here in the Yuma community and, and to be able to do it right next to you is absolutely awesome. Right back at you. That partnership is so very important. It is. Again, five years of today in Yuma, working together 11 years. Yes. And last Sunday, Monster Media celebrated our 25th anniversary. We so, we are your locally yes. owned hometown station. We have to give our owner, Keith Lewis, a huge shout out because... He believed in us enough to he say. He believed in us. <laughs> to say, sure. When I said, oh, by the way, boss, we're going to start a show tomorrow. This was five years ago. Yeah. And uh, little did we know this is where we would be. I, I absolutely love but it. But thank you, Keith. And yeah. again, the community, you guys are what make this possible. Mm -hmm. we, we do it for you because there are people that want to know what's happening here. Exactly. And we've, we've covered so many different things. We love sharing our lives with you. I mean, you guys were here all the way up to... You know, me having Ollie and, and, and all these different things to be able to share our lives with you and, and to share the important information about the human community is, is just awesome. Wendy says, love you, ladies, and Keith. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, and we've, we've, we've grown, you know, from, from just us. We have, you know, the, the wonderful WTF gal, Anita, who's always behind the camera for us. And Anita has, has amazing upper body strength. She does. It took, it took time to get there, right? <laughs> it took time to get that arm strength to hold the camera. Um, but she always brings her wonderful words of positivity, as well as Foodie Licious Janice bringing us all those awesome recipes. We couldn't do it without you guys. It is truly a team effort. So it is. Thank you all. We're family. Just like the Yuma That's community right. is family too and that is important. It is, it is. All right, coming up on the show on Monday, Blade Anthony is going to be joining oh, us. He is with the American Star Foundation, but he's going to be talking about this awesome event that they have coming up yeah. in February and it is the first annual Hooves and Heroes barbecue and silent auction fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Blade will give us all the details about that. And next week, we're going to visit with the Caballeros one day because their marathon is coming up. Oh, yeah. That's later, later I know a couple month. people running into that. Yes. So They're training a, now. <laughs> a lot of great stuff in store. But if you have something going on, you're an organization and you would like to come share something with us so we you know so we in turn share with the community please reach out to us just go to monstermediayuma.com at the bottom of that first home page at the bottom uh, you can find emails for our, our entire staff mm -hmm. send us a message and we'll look at getting you on the show or some we know some people are shy we can share the information for you most definitely but, we but no reason to to, no reason to be shy no, with Jennifer we, and I. We, we need to know about it <laughs> all right public pause speedway don't forget winter nationals as if you could 
A lot of action taking place this weekend, but if you want to head on over to Alexander Ford at 801 East 32nd Street, they are out there until noon today. All right. Up next on Z93, it is Bob and Sherry. And on Outlaw Country, we have your favorite classic country music as well as the Phoenix Suns. Be safe, everyone, out there. Lots of traffic on the road, but beautiful weather in store. Yes. We will see you on Monday on Z93 and Outlaw Country, KCYK Yuma and KLJZ Yuma. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you, Anita. Of course.